In this video, I'd like to help you get familiar with the artboards as well as the ability to adjust and manipulate them to your liking. We're going to start by creating a really basic artboard and then we'll modify it to the document that we'll be working on. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the Create New button. You could also go to the File menu and choose New if you wish. And that's going to open up the New Document dialog box. Now inside of here, I'm going to come over here to the Print category since we're going to be creating a business card as the final product. And because that's a print-based product, I'm going to go to that category here. And in the unit of measurement, I'm going to change this to inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the Create button. And you're going to notice that this creates a brand new artboard in my document. And this is currently an untitled document. So if we want, we can go ahead and save this right away. So I'll go ahead and choose File Save. And I'll go ahead and call this business card. I'll go ahead and save that to my desktop or wherever you wish. Now, what I want to explain here is that your artboard is basically the working area in your file. And if I zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that the area outside of your artboard is referred to as the canvas. And some people will call this area the pasteboard, but in Illustrator, it's really the canvas and then the working area, or the document if you will, is the artboard. What I'm going to do is just kind of zoom in on that so I can see the entire thing. And one of the ways that we can modify an existing artboard is by coming over here and selecting the artboard tool. Now when you do this, you're going to notice that you have handles on each side and each corner that if you grab, you can resize and adjust to the size that you wish. So it's really easy to modify this artboard to whatever size you like. And if you look up here in the control panel, right now I'm in the Essentials Classic workspace. If I'm just in the Essentials workspace, you'll only see it over here in the Properties panel. But if you switch to the Essentials Classic workspace or any of the other workspaces, you'll also see that information displayed in the control panel. And you'll notice the artboard has an X and Y coordinate as well as the width and height of the artboard as well. Now, in addition to the artboard tool that allows us to kind of modify this visually, we also have an artboards panel, which is located right here. And using the artboard panel, I can go ahead and click on the new button to add another artboard to my document. And I can click this as many times as I wish. And if I zoom out, you're going to see that I now have a total of four artboards. And if I select an artboard with the artboard tool, I can simply hit the delete key on my keyboard to delete that artboard. And I can also select the artboard in the artboards panel and click the trash can icon. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that extra artboard there. And I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle in the middle of that artboard. And maybe what I'll do is get rid of the stroke and set the fill color to just whatever color I wish. Maybe I'll use something like magenta here. Now one of the advantages that we have of using the artboard tool is that when I have the artboard tool selected, you're going to notice that right up here we have this button, which is the move copy artwork with artboard. And what that means is that if I were to make a copy of this artboard, I can do that by holding down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and I drag this over here, you're going to see that not only does it make a copy of the artboard, but also the artwork on that artboard. Now if I were to turn this option off and make another copy, you're going to see that this just creates a blank artboard. It does not copy the artwork along with it. So depending on what you're trying to do, you want to pay attention to this guy right up here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on since it's going to be helpful. Go ahead and delete that artboard and maybe I'll make one more copy here. Go ahead and drag that over and now I have a third copy. Maybe I'll move that over a little bit further. Now one of the things that we can do when we have multiple artboards is we can actually arrange them by using the align panel. So with the artboard tool selected, if I shift click on these other artboards, so that they're all selected, I can open up my Align panel by going to Window Align, and then I can use the Distribute Objects button 
to space these out evenly. I can also align them to the top or bottom, and I can even center them all if I want, but that's probably not what I want to do in this example. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Edit Undo on that operation. Now in addition, I'm going to go ahead and close the Align panel, we can also rearrange the artboards. And so if I come down here and open up my artboards panel again, I can double click to give this an appropriate name. So maybe I'll call this one version 1. I'll call this one version 2 and this one version 3. And if I zoom out a little bit, maybe so that I can differentiate between these, I'll change the color of some of these rectangles. So indicating that these are like three different versions of the artboard. Now the other thing we can do from an arrangement standpoint is I can come down here to my artboards panel, click on the panel menu, and I can choose Rearrange All Artboards. And I can organize these artboards uh, in a layout from left to right, top to bottom, or top to bottom, left to right, or in a row or in a column. So if I set this to arrange in a column, and I put, say, one inch in between, when I click OK, I've now arranged them into a column. And conversely, if I click on this again and choose Rearrange All Artboards, I can choose, say, the left to right layout and tell it that I want two columns. And then when I rearrange them, it's going to arrange it as such. So I think this is easier to see if I get rid of some of these artboards. So if I grab my artboard tool and I click on this artboard, I can hit the Delete key, which will delete the artboard but not the artwork. And that's something to keep in mind as you're working with these artboards. So I have to use my selection tool to delete this extra artwork. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to delete this rectangle as well. And then I'll grab my artboard tool and I'll go ahead and delete that artboard. Now we're going to be creating a business card. So I'm going to go ahead and select this rectangle with my selection tool. And if I open up my transform panel by going to Window Transform, I'm going to set the width of this rectangle to 3.5 and, and the height to 2 inches. And when I hit Enter, it's going to resize that rectangle to the appropriate size. Now, what I have now is the fact that the artboard is way bigger than the actual product that I'm going to be creating. So one of the things that I really like to show people, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see this a little bit better, is if I grab my artboard tool, I can come up here to the preset menu. And if I click on this, you'll see a number of common sizes that users may find helpful for creating different sized artboards. But one of my favorites is this one right here that will fit the artboard to the artwork bounds. And when I choose that, the artboard is now exactly the same size as the rectangle, which is actually the correct size for our business card, which is three and a half inches wide by two inches tall. Now, the one other thing I'll show you, sometimes it's more helpful because if I had artwork over here on the canvas, which is very common, a lot of times users will add artwork and they'll keep it over here on the canvas because it's not currently part of the project but they may want to utilize it later on. If I have something out here on the canvas and I go to the preset and choose fit to artwork bounds, it's going to find all of my artwork. Probably not what I'm looking to do. So if you just take one extra step and first select the object that you want the artboard to match, then you can grab the artboard tool come up to the preset and choose fit to selected art. And now my artboard is the exact size as the rectangle, which is the exact size of the final product, which is our business card. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this ellipse and I'll go ahead and save my document. So remember, you can always adjust your artboards as your artwork or project changes so that you can build the project to the specifications that the job requires.